touch, pressure, vibrations, temperature, and pain. Out of all these physical sensations, what's the most underappreciated sensation? Undoubtedly, everyone's least favorite is the physical pain. But deep inside, we know that pain is our friend, and it's there to protect us. For everyday people with an extraordinary genetic disorder known as congenital insensitivity to pain, or CIP. But this is no superpower. If anything, it's kryptonite. In today's video, we talk about this rare and mysterious genetic disorder and why it does more good than harm to those affected. We congenital insensitivity to pain, or CIP, which is also known as congenital analgesia, in which the patient cannot feel any physical pain. It's so dangerous that most people with CIP die in their childhood due to unnoticed injuries like burns. Pain is a perception created by the brain, but it's not where the pain is initiated. Nociceptors are specialized pain receptors that are located in and around our skin, muscles, joints, and internal organs. Its duty is to detect mechanical, chemical, or thermal injuries. Activated nociceptors send signals along nerves and the spinal cord to the brain part called thalamus. Thalamus creates the experience of pain, but it cannot localize the area of the pain. Therefore, it sends signals to the somatosensory cortex of the brain to help us know where the pain is coming from. A rare mutation in the gene called SCN9A will result in abnormal NAV1.7 sodium channels in the nociceptors. Without the influx of sodium ions, nociceptors fail to send signals to the brain when there's tissue injury. This is the mechanism of CIP. First case of CIP was reported in 1932 when a physician described a 50-year-old salesperson who claimed to not recall any pain, despite coming face-to-face -face with a hatchet as a kid. Unbeknownst to the pain, the boy even ran home. Since then, doctors and researchers have slowly documented the rare genetic disorder, but it's only in this day and age of social media that experts have begun to really understand CIP. Researchers started to observe symptoms of CIP online, which has moved research along. Despite all the information available to us and the increased access we have to one another, there is still no official statistic as to how many people suffer from CIP. So what exactly causes CIP? In short, it's the result of a genetic mutation which prevents the formation of nerve cells that are responsible for transmitting signals of pain, heat, and cold to the brain. Interestingly, people with CIP are reported to have short lifespans. In fact, a BBC article cites that a few folks with CIP reach adulthood because they may end up fatally injuring themselves before then. Just take the Pakistani boy who performed deadly stunts on the street like walking on hot coals or sticking knives into his arms. Actually, his whole family has been observed as a part of the CIP research. Turns out the genetic disorder is hereditary, which means it can be passed down by your parents and onto your own children. While there are some rare cases of children born from parents without CIP or similar symptoms, those affected mostly have a parent or even two with the genetic disorder. For those who are lucky enough to receive a diagnosis, they need to learn how to be in pain to further avoid injuring themselves. As for a cure, there's no single antidote to CIP. Researchers have discovered that there is more than one mutation of this genetic disorder. The good news, though, is that the smart people in lab coats are using gene editing technology to crack down on CIP. Some are even trying to hone in on the neurotransmitters responsible for reducing anxiety and pain commonly found in those with CIP and using it to help folks with chronic pain. So maybe CIP isn't the super power you thought it would be. Turns out feeling pain after accidentally biting down on your tongue is actually a good thing, even though it hurts very, very badly. Put it this way, in order to feel the really good sensations in life, we need to know what the really bad sensations are like too. Hope you liked our video. Share this information with your loved ones. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.